Hi there, thanks for joining me today. Let's start in an easy cross-legged position. So you can have bean sukhasana, one leg in front of the other, or cross your legs. Rest the hands lightly on the thighs. If for any reason sitting cross-legged is a bit uncomfortable, you might want to elevate your hips by sitting on a cushion or a folded blanket. Let's rip, close the eyes down and just start by following the inhale and exhale of your breathing. Allow the face to be soft and allow the shoulders to be soft. Feel the sitting bones pressing down onto the mat and lift away from the sitting bones up through both sides of the waist and up through the crown of the head without creating any extra tension. And you might want to set an intention for your practice, something as simple as relax. And just repeat the intention to yourself. And then let's open the eyes, release the arms down by your side. Just for a moment, take an inhale and then exhale, bring the hands out in front of you and start to walk them forward. You don't have to come too deep just to where it feels comfortable and allow the upper body to just relax over. So we're not going into engaging too much muscular effort at the moment. And when you're ready, start to straighten those arms. So bringing a little bit more effort in, pressing down through the palms, the hands. So reach the sit bones away from the hands. And then let's take an inhale to walk the hands back up hands by your side, inhale and then exhale leaning out over towards the right. You can stay on the right hand or come all the way down onto the left forearm as long as your left hip isn't coming up off the mat. Extend that left arm over the ear, turning the head to look up if that feels comfortable for you. Keep pressing down through the left sitting bone. Turning the head to back to center, take an inhale coming back up and let's just swap the legs around so bringing the left leg in front, inhaling and then exhale walking your hands forward. You might have a little bit more space to come a bit deeper this second time around. Just focusing on your breathing. And inhale as you walk your hands back up, placing the left hand down a little bit away from the body, so not too close. And then as you exhale, leaning out over towards the left. So thinking about a side bend here, reaching out through both sides of the waist. Try to make sure that the right shoulder isn't curling forward. Excuse me, little sneeze. Keep extending that right arm over and you can turn the head to look up towards the ceiling if that's okay on your neck. And this time keep pressing down through the right sitting bone. Feel that long line all the way up through the right side waist. And then inhale to come back up. Let's interlace the fingers in front of the chest. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press the hands away, draw the navel in and try to C curve the spine. So you're tucking the chin in. Inhale, lengthen up. And then exhale once again, pressing the hands away, draw the belly button in and tuck the chin in. Inhaling, lengthen out through the spine and then exhale, curve the spine. Really pressing out through the middle part of the upper back and then press the hands up towards the ceiling, lengthening up through the lower back. Try to straighten the arms and draw the shoulder blades down at the same time. And let's exhale, release that. Coming over onto all fours, knees underneath the hips, but let's make fists with the hands. So you're pressing down through the fists Neutral spine, take an inhale and then exhale, press the middle part of the back up towards the ceiling as you tuck the chin in, don't arch the spine, inhale neutral, exhale, press the middle part of the back up towards the ceiling and inhale neutral, exhale, press the middle part of the back up towards the ceiling and we're going to hold it here. So we're trying to get into uh, the part of the back which is in between the scapula which gets quite tight which affects the shoulders and let's release the hands down. Take an inhale, sweep the right arm up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, feed that right hand underneath 
the left arm and then walk the left hand forward towards the front of the mat. Reach the left hip away from the left hand. Keep pressing down through the shin bones. And then let come back up onto the left hand. Take an inhale, flex the right hand and press it forward. Keep flexing the right hand, so fingertips towards the face. And then inhale to come back up. Exhale there. Inhale, reach the left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, feet are underneath the right, laying down on the left shoulder. Rest the head down if you can. Walk the right hand forward. Reach the right hip away from the right hand. Easy breathing. And then let's come back up onto the right hand. Flex the left hand. As you exhale, press it forward. Keep flexing the fingers towards the face. Keep breathing. And then inhale to come back up onto all fours. Tuck the toes under and pressing into your down facing dog for a few breaths. Inhale to reach the right leg up into three legged dog just for a moment and then exhale that left knee down. Inhale to sweep the arms up into your low lunge. Exhale, circle the hands behind you, press the heels of the hands together. Inhale to lift the arms up away from the body or the back and then exhale, bring the hands over to the right side way. So I'm just showing you on the left hand side, but you want to have the hands over to the right. Both shoulders keep pointing forward and then squeeze the right elbow in towards the midline of the body. And then here, drop the right ear down to the right shoulder so we're getting a bit of a stretch along the left side of the neck. And keep lifting through the belly. Let's return the head to center, release the arms, inhale to sweep them up alongside the ears, and then exhale, bring the hands down, stepping back into down facing dog. Just take a breath here and then stepping that left leg forward, inhale, bringing the arms up alongside the ears, and then exhale, interlacing the fingers behind the back, inhaling, inhaling to lift the arms up a little bit away from the back, and then as you exhale, bring both hands to the left side waist as much as you can, and then squeezing that left elbow in towards the midline, and let's drop the left ear now to the left shoulder. Long, smooth breath. Return the head to centre, release the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, bring the hands down by the front foot, stepping back into down facing dog. Stepping the right foot forward in between the hands and place that left heel down. We're going to open out to our warrior two. Then right arm comes underneath and left arm on top and wrap the arms around, trying to take hold of the wrists if you can. So we're coming into eagle arms, but with warrior two legs. If for any reason this is not possible, you can just bring the hands to the shoulders. So holding the outside of the shoulders with the elbows crossed. Let's inhale to release the arms out and then exhale, place the right hand onto the upper back. Take hold of the right elbow an option to lean back towards that left leg but keep bending into the front leg keep breathing inhale back to warrior two exhale hands come back down and stepping back into down facing dog inhale to step that left foot forward right heel comes down warrior two legs left arm underneath right arm on top wrapping the arms around as much as you can taking hold of the wrists or the palms if you can. Keep bending into the front leg. Inhale to release out to your warrior two. Exhale, bend that left elbow, palm of the hand to the upper back, holding on to that left elbow and then leaning back towards the right leg if you can. And let's inhale to release back to your warrior two. Exhale, circle the hands down, stepping back into down facing dog. 
and let's step the right foot forward we're going to come up to standing both feet turn parallel facing forward legs are about a legs distance apart hands onto the waist take an inhale and then exhale folding yourself forward and then walking your hands away from you so we're coming into a variation of prasarita padatanasana the upper body or the torso is in down facing dog like position relax the head down you can lean slightly back towards the heels so keep those sit bones in line with the heels Let's bend into the right knee, reach the left hand underneath, taking hold of the outside of the right shin bones. We're twisting towards the right, and then you start to straighten the right leg just as much as you can, but keep pulling away with that left hand. Keep breathing. Keep reaching away with the right hand, and then let's release back to center. Let's bend into the left knee, reach that right hand underneath, taking hold of the outside of that left shin or ankle. And then when you're ready, you start to straighten the left leg. Try to keep both hip bones level. So often the right hip would want to drop here, so you want to lift the right hip up. So press, trying to press into the uh, upper middle back. release the hand back to center walk the hands back onto the mat and then just turn to face the front of the mat stepping back into your down facing dog just for a moment and then come down to the knees coming all the way down onto your belly extend the right arm long at shoulder height bend that left elbow and then place the right foot behind you so we're taking a stretch through the front of that right chest there getting into the pecs you can close the eyes let's keep breathing and then just gently make your way out of that we're going to go straight to the other side so extend that left arm long level with the shoulder rest the opposite the left ear down step that right foot behind you now try to keep the bottom leg in line with the torso up onto the right fingertips gently releasing that hands underneath the shoulders just make your way up to a seated position and we're just making our way into Shavasana so lying down on your back getting comfortable letting the feet fall away from one another let's take a deep breath in through the nose and then exhale out through the mouth let's do that once again deep inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth just allow the breathing to settle back into its natural rhythm in and out through the nose we can carry a lot of stress and tension in the upper body so with each exhale, I want you to imagine that the tension that we hold in the body is just continuing to dissolve. So as you exhale, it dissolves and is absorbed by the ground underneath you. And you can just continue that process. Imagine the tension, feel the tension as you exhale it just releases and that process of letting go just continues and the body getting softer and softer with each exhale
and let's start to breathe a little bit of life back into the body, wiggling the fingers and the toes. Let's bend the knees up, rolling over to the right hand side. And when you're ready, you can come up to a comfortable seated position. Just keeping the eyes closed. Let's bring the palms and hands together back in front of your chest. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste. And I look forward to seeing you next time.